During a climate crisis, drought, even war, some CU Boulder researchers are called in to help us understand how it impacts our food stability. That means making sure we are producing enough food to keep everyone fed. Now, as reporter Anusha Roy joins us in studio. And Anusha, these researchers created food maps. Yeah, and there's a really interesting message with these food maps. They're sending a very clear picture of our food system and just how fragile certain parts of it are. So here's a look at just one of the maps. It's showing the crops flowing into Boulder, everything from grains, nuts, vegetables, and fruits from all over the country and then researchers found that it doesn't actually take a lot to throw all of this off. If there was a single severe drought in Boulder that could reduce the supply of crops coming into the county by two and a half percent. That adds up to 2.4 billion calories lost. You go to Kern County in California, a major producer, nearly 600 billion calories worth of crops every year. A single extreme heat wave there could cut production by as much as eight percent or more. The researchers started putting maps like this together because there are a lot a lot of times ask for this kind of information from nonprofits and government officials when they're trying to figure out who needs the help the most. You know, during the war, we're talking about people that are advising governments, you know, especially on energy policy and how that will trickle down and impact on, you know, food security. People don't see these linkages often or they don't make the linkage. Maps were launched right ahead of the UN's climate change conference in Dubai that's been making a lot of headlines recently. And if anything, the researchers are really hoping maybe during the holidays it can start this conversation where people are really taking a closer look at where their meal is coming from and then considering what you can do about climate change as well. They're hoping that it gives a global picture but also raises a little bit of awareness along the way. Yeah, a conversation you don't think about too often, Anusha. No, you don't. You know, and you look at the, those food maps and you just see how interconnected all of us are. So even even if that drought's not happening in our backyard, if it's happening somewhere else in the country, it could still imp uh, impact the food that's coming in here. Between Anusha's reporting and Keeley's reporting, we're learning anything that happens in the world somehow trickles down yeah. and affects us. Yeah, 100%. And the little things do add up yeah. again. You know, 100%. Anusha, thank you. Let's get a